there are some very, very effective treatments. However, these are quite invasive in that they involve an injection directly into the eye. And because of that, you find that those treatments are delayed until people actually begin to get a visual loss. So when you think of a diabetic, what happens is some people have poor glycemic control. They then begin to get end organ damage. And in the back of the eye, this begins that you start getting leaky blood vessels, following onto a retinopathy, followed onto edema at the back of the eye. And it's the edema around the macula that actually causes you to lose vision. Now, patients generally don't notice anything at all until they start to lose vision and their sight deteriorates. And it's at that stage that they are willing to take invasive therapies because it's affecting their lives. Perhaps they can't read so well. Perhaps they can't see faces so well. Perhaps they can no longer drive. And at that stage, they are willing and will 